Hello and welcome back to the Natural YouTube channel. I'm Mary Ann and I'm passionate about helping you to heal your horse, mind, body and soul naturally. Now today we're doing an update on our nettles video which we posted back in June about five months ago. I'll link it in the description box below for you so you can go back and um, find the benefits of feeding nettles to your herd. So today what we're going to be doing is chopping these down, taking them back to be dehydrated and then stored for future use. Here we go. Okay, so we're most of the way through now. Um, we found that there's unfortunately a big bramble patch in the middle of some of this so we're going to have to take some time to take that out but that's why we're really happy that we've got our gloves on to protect the hands and also our sleeves to protect our arms so we've take, we're going to take that out so that there's more nutrients and more sunlight for the nettles so that they can regrow they tend to regrow very very quickly so we might even get another lot of this before they die off for the winter we don't know Obviously, if you've been watching, you'll have noticed that we're not taking it all the way down to the ground. A, because we want them to regrow. Um, B, because most of the nutrients are in the leaves, which are further up the stem. And C, we want to protect and make sure that we're not harming any wildlife that may be underneath. Which is why we're also using manu manual um, equipment rather than electric or petrol. We can then make sure that there aren't any animals harmed underneath. Particularly hedgehogs, which we're really fond of around here. So let's carry on. Okay, so we've collected all that we want to collect now. Um, it really didn't take us that long at all. Whether you've got a small patch in your garden or a big patch in your field, it's absolutely worth chopping them down. Whether you're going to leave them there for your horse or going to go and take them and dry them like we are now. But we're going to take these lot back because our herd don't have access to this section of the field at the moment. And uh, we'll take you with us so you can see how we dry them and the d two different ways that we do that. Here we go. Okay, so we're back now in the tack room with our dehydrator, which is one of the methods we use to dry out our nettles. So we're going to use all of the pans this time, whereas with the rose hips we only used the one. So what we're going to do is just separate out the pans and just start putting the nettles on. You have the option of just putting them on as they are, just wrap them around so that they stay in. Or you can use the nice trick of thumb and finger on the stem and just push and it takes all of the nettle leaves off so you can only you'll only dry those which means that they tend to dry faster because they haven't got the thick stem to dry as well. Obviously this way <laughs> obviously this way does take just that little bit longer because you're having to do that manually. <laughs> Please excuse my herd attacking the door. There we go, so we've now filled up all of the pans. I'm going to pop the lid on. But we're also still trying to figure out what the best temperature and length of time is for dehydrating these. Um, but we do know that it is a lower temperature than the rose hips purely because there's less to get through shell wise to dry it out. The leaves are a lot thinner. 
So also we don't want them on a high temperature so that it doesn't destroy the nutrients within it. We want to lock those in. So turn that on. I'm going to turn the temperature down to just 50 degrees. I'm going to leave that on for 10 hours and we're going to see what that looks like afterwards. It's going to, I believe that it will be the case that we just have to swap all the pans round and put it on for another few hours, but we'll see. Okay, so your other option if you don't have a dehydrator is to put the nettles out on the floor in a single layer so that they can dry out themselves. You'll just need some good gloves so that you can rotate them every day just a case of lifting them up, shuffling them around and then letting them fall back on the floor. They'll take about a week to dry out in the winter months, although in the summer months you can leave them out in the sun and it won't take more than a day. So those are your two options or those are the two options that we use, depending on which time of year, depends on which one we use. A dehydrator doesn't actually cost you that much money. You can find them on the internet for about £20. No. <laughs> they are worth every penny. That is my herd trying to get in. <laughs> So we'll just take a video of these being dehydrated and we'll come back to you after that's done. Okay, so these are now done. Um, they have completely dehydrated, um, ready to go into storage. You can tell they're done because they make this crispy noise and they are very crispy and ready to go now. So what we're going to do is going to store them. Okay, so to store them, what we're going to do, similar to the rose hips, is to store them in glass jars like these with a nice seal on them with a label to tell us what exactly is in them. These we got from Ikea, very cheap, do a job very well, well. So all we'll do is we'll just take them out of the pans and just pop them straight into the jar. The seal on top of the jar will help to keep the moisture out and to help keep them dry so that we can use them throughout the year for our horse's health, as per usual. <laughs> So there we go. Uh, quick and easy, relatively. Not too difficult and doesn't take too long. <laughs> Guinea pigs. So worth a go. Um, please check out the previous. Um, please check out the previous YouTube video about nettles to find out why you should be feeding them to your herd. Please comment down below if you have dried or dehydrated nettles for your horse's health, which method you chose to use and what your horses thought of them. Please check out the Facebook post where there's always more information for you. Also check us out on Instagram, we're at naturally underscore Willa, where there's daily updates on the herd. I'll see you again soon. Bye.